But listen to this, how wonderful verse 19 is. See, if you can have your heart wrap around this scripture that I'm about to read, then you can, then you can get some freedom. Your life can be changed. You can, have, you can be transformed right now. Because look at what it says in verse 19. For though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant unto all, that I might gain the more. What does that mean? When you finally stop trying to prove that you have value and worth, and you lay that all down and you just serve, then watch out because your cup is about to overflow. So many people are concerned about who they are, that they build their own kingdom. and They don't even know they're doing it. You're trying to figure out, how do I belong? What's my value? What's my worth? What's my gift, God? They're asking the wrong question. They're asking, what's my gift, as if they're going to add it to themselves. Rather, they should say, Father, how can I be a gift unto creation again? That's a different mindset. Because a gift is only received by those who are around you. It's not something, I'm telling you that, I, I hope that something fruitful comes out of my life, but I'm going to tell you, I don't know what it is. And I don't, I'm not preoccupied with it. Because the moment you try to figure out what it is, is the moment you stifle the Spirit of God. Because it wasn't about you. I want you to start to see insecurity. When you ask, what is my gift? Understand that most often that's an insecurity issue. It's fear. You're worried about your identity. Your identity was already established by God. You are his child. Is that not enough for you? Is that not enough for you? If you say yeah but to that statement, you're in trouble. Because that means you're not even operating as a child of God. If you add but to that statement, then you haven't received the gift that that is. You're actually milling about in the outer courts. You have not come into the Holy of Holies. Do you understand that the veil was rent? I see this is where Christians who don't read the Old Testament don't understand this. You have to understand that, that in the Old Testament, only those who are purified and Levites, I might add, could go into that place. When the veil was rent, when Jesus Christ died on the cross and the va- that veil was rent, it meant something very, very powerful had just happened. All men can now come in to see the Father. Why? Because purity was attached to you. You aren't pure, but he makes you pure in your impurity. That's what the blood of Jesus did. Cleansed us from all sin. So, but you're going to still mill about in the outer courts and say, I'm not a child of God. I'm not a son of God. That's where the good ones go. Go in there. Do you understand that, that if not for the word of God saying so, to say you're a son of God by faith is a very prideful statement? There's no more prideful statement you can make if the word of God did not say so. You hear what I'm saying? But it's not a prideful statement because the word of God says we are. 